All right, guys, I want to have a quick chat about buying new cars today. This is February 2023, and I just picked up this, I guess it'd be 11th Gen Civic Si, 2023 Civic Si in the... Uh, sonic gray pearl it's the color i wanted and when i started looking for these i did all my research and everything i started looking i started calling around to dealers and i quickly discovered that uh yeah i'm not gonna be able to just buy one of these like that doesn't work that way anymore um recently i also did pick up a toyota uh, rav4 hybrid and kind of ran into the same thing with that one i was able to get one pretty quick and honestly with the civic i even got it quicker but that was just by chance kind of but also I'm pretty you know um, aggressive when there's something I want I'm pretty much gonna get it uh, I won't stop I, I live in northern Michigan I ended up driving to Indiana to get this one so what I quickly discovered is you could either wait you could get put on a list if there's such a thing um, and wait which I'm not big on waiting, like most of you guys probably are not either. Or you can pay a premium. I found the Civic SIs marked up. Two, two different dealers. One was $3,000 over sticker, and another one was $5,000 over sticker. I'm like, nah, I'm not on board with that. I'm not going to do it. So I found this dealer in Indiana, and uh, they, they sourced me this car. A couple of people had passed it up, essentially, and uh, opened up the opportunity for me to pick it up and they don't mark up the car but what they do is they load it up so i did pay a premium for this but i was getting things for my money so like they i mean i have like the first aid kit the floor mats the every little thing that you can add onto the car has been added on the car and that's exactly the same thing that happened when i picked up my rav4 they basically just load it up um so i'm like that's not how I would have probably bought the car, but I'm okay with paying extra for the car if I'm getting something for my money. And that's what happened with this one. This one even has the full HPD kit, which is like all the little ground effects things and a, a little badge and everything, which I'll probably take that off, the badge. But so far, um, as you can see, I probably have uh, just under 400 miles on this. Still running through the uh, uh, first tank of fuel. I'm going to probably fill up here soon. It says low fuel zone. Highway driving uh, last night back from Indiana to northern Michigan. I think this car is exactly what I hoped it would be. It's, uh, you know, my background. I'm like in my mid to upper 40s. I've been into building Honda cars. I'm a Honda fanboy uh, since my early 20s. So quite a long time I've built and uh, spirited drive it as well as high performance driving events uh, many uh, enthusiast built honda cars in acuras so this one kind of works for my needs for today you know being just under 50 and uh, the creature comforts along with the sportiness of this car is i think really well matched for what i'm looking for in a car so uh, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm probably not going to mod this car a whole lot. I'm going to do a couple little things, and I'm just going to enjoy it. So I hope to, I know this is a watch channel, so um, primarily a watch channel. I'm wearing a Zen 104, and uh, I hope to maybe do a couple of maybe similar point of view videos like this on Sunday, maybe like my Sunday drives. It's, uh, it's another hobby that I have been out of for a long time and I'd like to uh, re-immerse myself into it and, and enjoy the car culture again and it's uh, very therapeutic for me. I need that. So thanks for watching guys and I will chat with you soon.